They're teaching kids how to sell their soul in cartoons. Watch this. In the episode, The Devil and Little D, Sammy gets offered a record deal by these two weird looking guys but turns it down. They then go up to Lil D and offer it to him to which he agrees and signs it without reading the terms. Lil D unknowingly just sold his soul to the devil, who takes the form of a record producer by the name of Big D. Is that Santa? Close. Big D. Really? Hey, they call me Lil D. What's your D stand for? Yeah, uh, Dwight. Yes, that's it, Dwight. At first, Little D is eager for his big break, but soon finds that something is off about his deal. They begin to change him and even try to make him wear a dress. This episode Sound parallels familiar? the theories of celebrities selling their souls in order to make it in the industry. They make him dye his hair blonde and wear a dress which are rituals performed in Hollywood. Fortunately, at the end, his contract is void and Lil D gets his soul back and is freed from the label. This is not the only show they've put in something like this. They've put this in many, many, many other shows. And I'm going to tell you and prove it to you. If you guys remember Victorious, right? Victorious actually had an episode where they dedicated to the whole music industry stuff and everything. But most times when I see people go back to that scene, they don't actually talk about the essence of the scene. And that is how the music industry really works. Yes. Most people don't actually talk about that. I don't know why. What most most time they talk about was cat eating people, the funny part and all. I understand the show was pretty funny, but I don't think the producers of that show or the Schneider at that show um, was uh, was trying to pass the, a funny message to us. No, they are actually trying to tell us how the music industry really works and. It looks like Victoria Justice didn't follow the script real life. Maybe that's why music in the uh, music um, career is not going as far as Ariana Grande's music career. Because most, if you guys watched Victoria's when Victoria actually came out, you would think Victoria Justice would be where Ariana Grande is right now. To be honest, because at, in that scene, Victoria Justice was supposed to perform at the Platinum Music Awards, and when she won. Immediately, they started changing everything about her, just like in what we just had. Immediately, the guy had to dye his hair blonde. Real life, you see them dyeing their hair, getting numerous amounts of tattoos, hanging out with the celebrities and producers, people you wouldn't normally hang out with. Same thing with Story. She did a lot of stunts just to promote herself, started acting erratically, started... um um being a douchebag for no reason and then what actually shocked me the most was when they were actually planning a prank on a fake Neil Armstrong which was going to appear like a real one but instead the real guy actually showed up and when the real guy showed up Tori still performed the, pr the prank but it was on the real guy and the guys who were organizing the prank like, no, she's not supposed to do that because this is the real guy. But guess what? Mason in the show said, nah, 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 leave it. This is actually better. This is actually better than I expected. But it is the real guy. Wouldn't he complain? Wouldn't he sue? They control everything. They control up, they control down, they control the counter narrative, they control the narrative. They knew the real guy wouldn't do anything because of they own him. It's the same industry, it's the same. They all work hand in hand. This movie is just one of many, guys. You, you guys need to go back to that Victorious episode because it is more than, it is more than the funny, funny part. It is so deep, so deep, they just presented it in a childish and funny way.